Welcome back everybody to some more Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, and this is of course my playthrough of the entire Zelda timeline. Apologies for last episode. As we left off, we were right here at this door. We've just turned the bo the boat the boat back to its original position. It's actually a sand ship. I should call it by, by its actual name. Uh, but yeah, this is back in its, you know, historic, its original state. So let's head through this door. We can see the inside now. It's all colourful look. Look at it. Beautiful. Again, apologies for last episode. Um, my recording crashed at the very end, right as I was saying goodbye to you all. So I had to do a bit of post commentary on it. It was crazy. Is this the most pointless hallway in the world? But anyway, welcome to episode 21. Let's hope episode 20 wasn't kind of a, you know, an idea of what the rest of these are going to look like and act like. Oh, we got electric dudes. There we go. Give him a bit of the old one-two. Uh, and again, I had to sync so much of the audio last episode and it just didn't really sync properly. It kept slipping out of sync. Uh, it was not good. Oh, short, the, the shield is taking a beating right now. There we go. Sweet. Let the shield regenerate a little bit. Oh, there's another one. Oh, I took a bit of a hit there. Probably too risky. And there we go. So as you can see right here, we want we need to get through there, but we can't. However, with our newfangled bow we got last episode, we can sh look up through the dungeon. This is so cool. Aim for the time shift stone at the top of the central mast. And there we go. We revert the ship back to how it used to be. What a cool mechanic that is. The electricity goes away. We can open this chest here. And we can get the dungeon map. See, everything's coming together now. You can see there's not much much more to go on in this ship. A few more areas. Um, it's not an overly complex temple dungeon from this point on. I didn't do as much as I would have liked last episode, so this episode is probably going to run long. Because we are going to end up fighting the boss. Because I kind of want to be done with this place now. So let's turn it back to its present day, oh no, sorry, old past state. Um, and this, you know, lets us walk over here, which is pretty cool. And we can look through here, we can see that there is a little thing there. There's also a dude we could shoot. And that's not going to work, is it? So how do we slow down a fan? How about we do this? No, nope, that's just going to make it faster. Now this was the room yesterday with all the dust in it. As you can see, this looks like this might actually be the brig. Ooh, I uh, connected a little bit too early with this guy. I think I'm playing a little better today. I feel better, even though I spent 9 million hours yesterday doing what I needed to do. Hey, little fellas! You're a human, aren't you? How did you get here? You came with the captain to save us. I'm so happy. Guys out here with the sparky blocks at exit. Yeah. That is true. But the engine room is right below the brig. So it is. There's a corridor from the engine room that connects to this brig. But to get to the engine room, you need to go activate the two power generators in the engine room. You'll need to activate the power generators in two different locations. So that's on the floor we've just come from. We're currently here. Right here, which is where we need to be. But we need to go all the way back, and then up one more floor again. And these are the two rooms um, fairly early on. You can do it, Fuweep. Thanks. So yeah, there's nothing we can actually shoot in here. No ceilings. We are pretty low down the deck, but you can see the engine room below us. There it is. That's the engine room. So let's head back up. I was reading a very interesting thing, actually, about how everyone was saying every single... 3D Zelda game involves time in some way. Ocarina of Time, you travel through time. In Majora's Mask, you reset time. What is the time? Oh, in Wind Waker, you go to Hyrule locked in time. In Twilight Princess, you step into the Temple of Time, which is frozen in time. And in Skyward Sword, you uh, manipulate time and also travel back through in time, but that's a spoiler. 
Right, so let's head back through the dungeon a little bit. There's still nothing too interesting in here. But yeah, I just thought that was interesting that all the 3D Zeldas have some sort of time travel in them. So we can stand here. You see, we can actually see that now. If we give that a good shoot. That will now unlock this door here. And we can head through. Stand on here. Reveals another thing to be shot all the way over there. Oh, there's some keys in here. But as you can see, when I step off that plate, that's it. Ooh, a monster claw. I should really start editing out these, like, collection screen things. One day. And then the series ends and I don't do it. Right. Kill this guy. Kill this guy. So if we hop up here, we should be able to move this out of the way. And then jump down back onto here. And we should be able to get a nice shot straight through. Which unlocks the door on the other side. I'm not sure if we can get the power generator working in this time. But we'll go see. Maybe we have to change time again. Can you imagine if you could actually do this? I like have pockets of reverted time. That'd be so creepy. Let's see what happens if we try stabbing this. I don't think we can actually do it in this time. Yeah. Let's go turn time back to, well, the past. And now in the past, there is a Bokoblin waiting for us in here. So let's do battle with him. Come. And he is down. Oh, a skull. Nice. Again, I had to replay through all the dungeon before this episode, so our rupee count and things like that are a little bit different than the end of last episode, but uh, I think that's fine. Come on. And then press. Generator number one is on. Let's get that going. Master, I can confirm that, as mentioned by the crew, the engine room is now fully operational. But the corridor the Brit to the brig will not open and be passable until you do the other power generator. Cool. Thanks. Now, to get through to the other side, if we look on the map, there are these two little holes. Now, there's a boat that I lowered in the last episode. I'm not sure if I showed it or not. Okay, so I think I was one step too far ahead there, so I'm back under the deck here to shoot the time crystal again. Time shift stone. Give it its proper name. And then if we run back down the hallway, the door on our immediate left here should be open. Yeah, it's barbed and has like stuff you can't use or get through. So that's probably why I thought I couldn't get in here. Oh wow, two for one. That was pretty badass. Right, let's move this block. As I'm assuming this is one of these puzzles. Come on. Keep going, Link. And the window is now open, which is where I was trying to get to before. As you can see. Very nice. And the generator is through here. So down that way is our way to the engine room. But if we go back this way, this is us back on our little dinghy, the little boat. So if we shoot this, should raise us back up, and then we can reverse time again. Link, that's a very awkward pose you've kind of frozen yourself in there. Might hurt you back. And pop. And reverse time again, back to the present day here. And... Ooh, come on. There we go. Lower ourselves back down now that we've got the windows open. And through here we can go. But obviously, you know, well there's some keys. We don't want to be in this time period here. So they are very nicely, very kindly, given us a spot here where we can shoot back at the time crystal. It's this way. Time shift stone. It's a time shift stone. Not a time crystal. And there we go, colour returns. We can jab our sword into the orifice and press it. And there we go, we have power. Letting us through the engine room and finishing this part of the, the temple. 
Master, I can confirm the engine room is now fully operational. I suggest hurrying to the brig and freeing the crew immediately. So now we can do this if we ever need to come back in this room, which I doubt we will. Maybe we will. I don't think... I think we can just stay in the... Oh, maybe we have to stay in the past or the present? Hmm. Do I need to be in the present or the past? I'm assuming I need to be in the past, which is the time we're in right now. So I'm going to stay in this time. Assuming we need to stay in this time, that is. It's just easier to fall, you know? And here we are going through the engine room. Let's go save our robot friends. Here we are. This is actually underneath. This is the room where we originally came in to speak to the little robot fellas. The robot fellas themselves are right over here. But we do have to make our way through here in a rather roundabout way. Oh god! Is this safe here? I don't know. Run. So yeah, now all of this is moving. Oh, look at that for a cool looking place. I guess we're going to have to swing ourselves up there. Do we need it to go up there now? I don't actually know what's up there. Ugh, jump. What is up here? I actually, I'm not sure right now. Oh, sweet mother of loot. We got an evil crystal. A silver rupee. This is going to push me over. Oh, no. Another evil crystal. And we got... Oh, another silver rupee. Well, now we're at max wallet size. Oh, it's a monster horn. So we are officially at max rupees for the first time. Which means we can get... Probably something from that very, very cheapskate beetle. Through we go. And up here. So why is there a whip thing here? Oh, I see. I see what I've got to do. Introducing the last temple's item right here. Oh no! no I'm gonna die! Whew. Saved by the skin of my link. Skin of my link. Right. Get a good swing going on. So it next lowers itself. Right. Now we have to wait to be risen up and then jump across here. And there we go. I guess we should go through that little hole that I've Let's see what this does. Is that not the door we needed to open? Hello? Oh, is this just a shortcut? It's a shortcut. Through the little hole we go. It's stripey. Is it meant to go fast? Is this racing stripes? Guys, this this tunnel is a racing car. This is it. This is the logic of my brain <laughs> at work. Oh, oh, come on. And there we go. And we are through. We're in a little room here. Pull this down. And free our little friends from the brig. Hey guys! You really came to save us! My circuits are glowing with happiness. Really, you came on board to for a find the blur. You have to blur blur to control. The control room is next to the brig, but it's a huge door that shields shield shield shut. Need a, a key to open it. It's in the captain's cabin. So that's that part of the temple done. Um apologies again for taking so long to get, like here. Um, I feel like this has taken way too long of this episode. Um, I'll try to cut it down. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. Let's just go to the captain's cabin and uh, continue. Stop with the slow moving animations! We want to move on! And here we are back on the dinghy. Uh, I feel like I'm apologizing too much for things which, oh god, which aren't my fault. Um, but yeah, this, this episode just took a little bit longer than I thought, so it's going to be running long, considering we've already done one part and this part. We're about 90% done with the dungeon now. We just have to go into the captain's quarters and get the boss key, or the captain's cabin, which is right here. Oh, can we steal his monster horn? Monster horn! That's all I want. See you later. <laughs> can you imagine? Guy walks up to you with a whip, 
steals your like precious item you have in your belt and then just legs it into a room. That'd be hilarious. That's exactly what just happened. Here we go, we are in the captain's cabin, captain's quarters. It's uh, just the last bit of the temple here to do. And everything is now in the past. I had to reset the uh, time shift stone again there. And let's run through here, because there was electricity right here, so I couldn't get in the room. Okay, so there's some creepy, creepy scorpions here. Creepy, creepy scorpions and rupees I don't need. Anything good in these? Arrows. Sweet. So if we stand on here, this opens. However, we can't aim at it, because this dude is in the way. This dude, as I call him. So if we position ourselves in the right way is that with it yeah there it is and turn ourselves back into the past it's weird that the past is in color oh oh no 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 right now we can fight you Whew. gotta be good about those electric attacks Right, stand on here. And turn all the way around, eventually. And we'll shoot this. This door here opens. Run through. I think there's another sky, like, propellery thing that we can use in here, but... You can see the key right there. Oh, no, step! Whew. My puppy has come over to see what all my arm waving is about. He's like, what's all this arm jiggling? Oh my god. These guys have got me like trapped in a perpetual electricity stabbing motion. Ooh. Alright, I definitely need hearts now. Well, we got the boss key. Whew. Anywhere to heal us? No? We want to... I'm gonna throw us a few hearts, game. And there it is. You got the squid carving. Right. Um. Hmm. Master, I conjecture. I conjecture. I'm okay. That this is the key to the control room mentioned by the crew. My memory indicates that the location of the door is to the control room is here. I know where it is. I've seen it. Quickly, make your way quickly. I will do. And there we go, guys. The temple is done. There is just one final part of it to finish, which is the boss. That's it. It's boss time. I say it's boss time. I'm actually not that excited. I'm usually quite excited for bosses, but... <laughs> I, I, I'm more excited to steal that guy's monster horn over and over and over again. See you later. See you later. Bye-bye. Oh, do you guys want to give me hearts, actually? Either of you? Oh no, you just want to give me monster skulls. Okay. Do you want to give me heart, maybe? Nope. Okay. I don't need that rupee. Maybe these will have hearts for us. Nope. Okay. Can I use the uh, the fairy thing down here? The, the butterfly thing? Nope. That's not usable twice. Okay. Let's go check these crates over here. See if these guys have got any hearts in them for us. Hey, we got one heart. Oh, there's two over here. Let's see what's in here. Nada. How about in here? Another singular heart. Okay. I guess it's down to the boss room. The Pokoblin didn't spawn back, which is probably a good thing. Let's see if there's anything in these chests right here. Nope. Right. Boss time. Um, I'm really bad at these. As you guys may have already figured out from the previous ones. Oh, I think I got it. Oh, man. That took a while. I was contorting my hand in words that no hand should move. But here we go. Really cool door actually with that kind of like 
old ship style wheel around it. And well, while this technically is the boss key and that's technically the boss door, it doesn't necessarily lead us to a boss in the same way as it has in the past. Yeah. As you can see, things are a little... Well, my wallet is full, you're not able to collect rupees. Oh, that's great, tell me that now. Bye. Yeah, that's great. So now the entire ship is open to us, but something really bad has just happened. And you can see, the ship is now leaning. And the hentai lovers out there are really loving this episode. Judging by their size, these tentacles belong to a monster of considerable size. The current situation is difficult to determine with the complete accuracy, but signs indicate the ship is under attack. If we do nothing, there is an 80% chance the ship will capsize. I recommend forcing it back with sacred power, then exiting to further access the, assess the current situation, I guess you said. And this one. And we'll keep going. Oh, man, I didn't even see that. Oh. Who's throwing barrels? Oh, the war is rising, guys. Who's throwing those barrels? You up here? Oh, the ship's going the other way. These barrels going to break into anything good? Oh, God! I'm losing hearts every time that happens, game. Give me a warning. Before you start dropping crates out of nowhere. Oh man. Tentacles are back. Oh, got a couple of crates there. Oh, you're gonna give me nothing. You're gonna let me go into this fight with six hearts. Great. Perfect. I mean, what they do here is just incredible. I mean, the way they've destroyed the ship and the way they made it look, I think it looks really nice. The slight, now darker turns of the, of the colors of the ship as well. Darker lighting. We know, you know, shit is going down. And this is the room here. This is where we fought the pirate last time. This room is just wrecked. Warning, master. I sense an evil presence on the other side of this door. There's an 90% an chance that it, <laughs> chance it is the primary body mass of the creature whose tentacles we've been destroying. I suggest making all necessary preparations before exiting outside the ship. Preparation? What? I don't have any way to heal. So here we go. I mean, I have fairies, but you may as well use them to let me die. And the rain is coming down. The the ship is in a bad way, guys. Look at it. Oh no. I hate this boss. I'm, it's gonna kick my ass at least 9,000 times. If I come out of this at least alive, I'll be impressed. <laughs> Welcome to Mike from Monsters Inc. He's, uh, you know, he's been letting himself go. This is the Abyssal Leviathan Tentalus, which I'm assuming is like the 900th boss of this game. I can't do math. Really. So right now we can't do anything but stand here. And as you can see, these are going to start popping up and we can do a bit of that. I mean, it does become a time-consuming process of doing this over and over and over again. And he is going to do that sort of stuff, which is called attacking me. Ooh. Oh man, he moved and I hit the microphone. <laughs> it's not even that low, it's quite high, the microphone. No! Oh! Trying to actually stay alive in this fight is really not easy. I thought I got him. Come on. I'm just slicing up. My game is not registering my horizontal swipes. There we go. Look, that's really weird. Let me just uh, recenter again. Yeah, there we go. Much better. Ooh. Okay, clearly not much better. Yeah, nothing. Nothing's working. 
There we go. Right. That's that phase kind of done. It repeats itself a few times, but... Uh, we need this thing. Oh man, come on. Great, we got we got one tentacle cut. Good job. Right, we can actually just cut those normally. It won't let me attack. Come on! He's so big it's difficult for like the depth of perception to figure out where the hell he is. Well he's got I'm cutting his bangs back, look, he's getting a nice kind of haircut. Beautiful, right? Who wouldn't date him? Let's put him on a Tinder profile and see how many swipes he gets. Right, this one. Get this one. This thing's gonna attack before I can attack it. And this one. I just thought I'd show you guys another round of that rather than cutting it out. I thought it was fairly interesting. Because I'm getting a little better at it, so. Let's start shooting those arrows. That's all you need to do. Down he comes. Again, this is still all phase one, guys. God, he's so big! Ugh. Right. Let me get back him back to that phase again. Okay. He's back to this phase again. My puppy doesn't know what's happening. He thinks it's time to play. Because I'm waggling around like a crazy fool trying to kill this boss. He doesn't know what's happening. And neither do I. There we go. That's phase one. Fairly time consuming. He's going to smash everything up because he's angry and feeling a little bit blind. But now we can escape! Escape! Oh man! Whew. No! Whew. Can I not climb up here? That was close. Okay. And... Oh! The dog is not happy with this giant tentacle monster. He's very confused. Right, okay. Mike from Monsters Inc. I've already said that joke. Come on. Let's run up to him. This is phase two right now. You're about to see him probably doing some crazy attacks. Oh god, they're disgusting! He's Medusa! I can't oh god! Can I just attack you now, please? Can you not do the scary? No. I said don't do the scary! Oh, man. No! Oh, my God. That is terrifying. I can't get that heart, either. They're going to attack me. Oh, man. The dog isn't happy. I'm trying to be a boss, Chewie. I'm trying to be a boss! Oh, my God. No. They missed. I got him. Run. Whew. Get your crazy Medusa snake eyes out of here. And there he goes. Didn't need to use a fairy. Fairly happy with how that boss fight went, actually. Considering I remember it giving me so much trouble in my first playthrough. And the sky's clear. The heart container spawns beautifully in the air. And there we go. Unfortunately, the sand ship is kind of in ruin. And, uh, yeah. But luckily, right here is what we came for. The flame itself. To imbue our sword once more. But let's pick up that heart container. Take us to, I think this is a total of like 13, 14? 14 hearts now. I think, if I did my math of 10 on each line correctly. And, oops, there we go. It's time for another flame. It's been like 19 episodes since the, we got the flame in the entry system. It hasn't, it's been like four, five, six, I don't know. But this one's blue. Look at it. Yeah. It's blue. And here we go. 
fire's gonna jump out and be all like, I like fire. It's cool and warm. Isn't that like juxtaposing itself, being cool and warm? Anyway, it blasts off. And Link's like, where's it gone? I thought I was meant to like, oh god! <laughs> Hold up thy sword, Link. There we go. Yeah. You take that power. And the goddess longsword transforms again. Look at that. It's white! She can now help you use your dousing ability to search for more objects. Because that's exactly what we wanted to do, douse more. Look at that beautiful sword though. Beautiful. Yeah. Badass Link animation is badass. Oh, another part of the Triforce is awakening in Link. See, most of the, of the links that we know only carry the Triforce of Courage. However, this one, this dude's a little different. With your sword enhanced, you can learn a new melody. I recommend we return to the Isle of Songs. Will do! But I think it's almost the end for this episode. Save progress. It's almost the end. My puppy is wondering what the hell I'm doing. Trying to distract him. Thank you for getting my ship back to me. Uh, it's, it may have been half wrecked, but my crew and I got shipped up. It's uh, finding whomever you're looking for. Come visit again. You're welcome anytime. Thanks. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Next time, we're going to head back up to the sky. Right over here. And we are going to go back to the Isle of Songs. And definitely spend some rupees. So I'll see you guys then. Goodbye.